Yo, how's it going guys? Um, so a couple of things have come to my attention this week. Today is uh, Monday the 6th of February 2012 and uh, the time's about half 8pm. A um, couple of things have come to my attention on the internet this week. I um, had a, uh, a couple of my friends on Twitter, um, a couple of my Christian friends saying, uh, mentioning prayers and saying you know they want people to join in with them or they want to give prayers to people and I, I sort of I was thinking about that for a while and I was thinking, yeah, I could, you know, I could join in. I didn't, I didn't believe in God, but uh, that's not to stop me from, from joining in, from prayers, and sending my thoughts to people, just, you know, send them to, you know, as you'd expect. And, uh, and it got me thinking about prejudice and stuff, and prejudice about people's ideas. And just because someone believes in something doesn't mean that uh, you should instantly judge them. It doesn't mean that you should instantly think about them in a certain way. Because uh, you wouldn't with a religion. Because if, if you said to someone uh, who was, let's say, Christian, if you said to them, do you believe in God? The answer I'd expect is, I don't believe in God, I know there's a God. That's the answer I'd expect. And uh, it shouldn't be the same with anything else. I watched um, I watched a documentary about 9-11, as I always do. Um, and uh, I'll try and post the link in the description if I remember which one it was. And uh, I, saw, I saw these groups. Um, who all they wanted was a new and more fair investigation into 9-11. Um, most of them were comprised of workers um, on the site who were told by the head of the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, that uh, it, the air was safe, and clearly it wasn't. And uh, these people now have horrible res respiratory diseases, um, which they're now battling. And they were the people who were out there trying to save people from this disaster. And uh, it's, uh, these people get attacked so badly just for believing in something, just for, just for, you know, the, just for wanting a new investigation. And uh, so it got me thinking about beliefs and is it right to judge people based on their beliefs? And uh, it also got me thinking about it's not the things in life you do that you regret, it's the things you don't do. And one thing I haven't participated in it yet is the Occupy movement at London Stock Exchange. And uh, so I'm going to go down, see what other people have, uh, see what other people believe, see what they think and why they're there. I think it's mostly to you know, promote a sense of love, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go there and uh, offer some people some hugs and give them the time of day that they deserve. Because they're accused of not doing anything, but quite frankly, these weathers are bloody freezing. And uh, if they're out there making a point, they obviously truly believe in that point. And so it's, it's down to people like us to give them the time of day. So that's where we're heading off to. We're heading off to St Paul's Cathedral. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Great to meet you. Why? Why are you here? Um, what message are you promoting? What? What? The, well, why are you I'm here? I'm here to try and change the world. Brilliant. How? How are you going about that? Uh, by joining Occupy. Brilliant. And what do you think um, Occupy signifies, sort of, uh, well, as a whole? Well, it's a movement by the people to change the course of history. Okay. Um, and and, and uh, I didn't know anything about this three months ago. But I came down here. And I went to an activist workshop. I began to ask questions myself. And after a while, I came in, became informed about what the Occupy movement is about. Okay. 
and the Occupy movement is about changing the capitalist system as we know it into something that's more fairer, equitable and life sustaining. Okay. Um, just one other thing is, um, are there, how many different sort of groups of people are there? Are there, are there many sort of separate ideas, many ide other sort of external ideas tried to come in and, and sort of try and take over the movement or has it been, has it been sort of set in one motion? Um, no, I don't really think so, although uh, there is a anonymous group over there yeah. who are um, sort of part of the movement, but they like to keep themselves separate. Um, but we're basically fighting for the same things. Okay. Uh, and it's very poignant that we're here because this is the city of London, this is the centre of the spider's web of deceit that um, the city of, that, the, that um, it's a tax haven, you know, that uh, basically is autonomous and doesn't answer to Parliament. So it's a city, an island within an island. And um, the fact that we're here, we might not be here for much longer because they're trying to evict us, is very significant. And we're trying, obviously, it's difficult. Uh, to change the whole system and the system does need to be changing because we can see around the world that a lot of countries economies are falling down because they're in debt and the reason they're in debt is because the rich people take their money and screw it away into tax havens uh, while the poor have to pay for the lack of taxes with austerity measures okay. so there you have it in a nutshell basically we are trying very hard to change the system, but it's not going to be that easy or go that quickly, we think, because it's a problem of changing the people's perception, spreading the message, and uh, I suppose eventually getting the political will to actually to do it. And you're here for as long as it takes? I think so, yes. A lot of us are quite dedicated. I'm over 60, so basically I can afford to be brave because I've done my lot. I've had a good innings, and um, you know, I um, I hope to be able to facilitate the change. Brilliant. Thanks very much. And uh, the last thing I'm doing is offering everyone I speak to a hug. Oh, yes. If you want, yeah. brilliant. What's your name? George. Okay, George. It's great to meet you. Okay. Yeah. Great to meet you. Thank Thanks you. very much. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Yeah, here with an MI7 agent pretending to be from Anonymous. <laughs> and, uh, Anonymous, Anonymous UK. Seven. Anonymous UK. It's actually uh, a part of the uh, MI7. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's, he's just told me the shocking news that uh, uh, Tesco, amongst other places, are putting bleach on the food um, rather than giving it. Rather than giving it to the lovely people of the Occupy movement, which. Uh, it's, it's just uh, for anyone. It's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So, do you guys have any individual personal messages, or you know, messages from whoever you represent? Okay, I would say uh, if you'd like to join us, we are looking for activists who are uh, strong of uh, character. Hopefully, you have a sleeping bag already. Season three, season four, come join us. If you are hard enough, come and join us. Brilliant. From men enough. <laughs> oh, oh, women enough. I mean, uh... oh yes, uh, yeah. if you're hard enough, male or female, women have uh, you know are, are, um, can bear more pain than a man. So please, <laughs> especially mothers. <laughs> Best giving world. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that was truly incredible. Um, I met a lot of uh, interesting people. Um, a lot of who didn't want to be on camera for uh, various reasons, but. Um, I met some incredible people, some uh, some nice friendly faces, they're sharing food out there, they're uh, sharing ideas. I got into a lot of amazing, interesting discussions. It's probably the sort of the best discussions I've had since I've been here at London. And uh, some really intelligent people down here. Um, it's just a wonderful place to go. And considering it's so cold, my feet are freezing. It's, uh, it's about half past 11 now. I've been here for about three hours. And... Uh, they must just be so cold so you know if there's if there's not crime even going down near you if there are homeless people near you so many people have been in so, so many bad situations there that uh they've just been kicked out of their homes kicked out of jobs 
and uh, you know, don't don't shun them. Don't uh, don't turn the other way. Give them give them give them a thought, and uh, yeah, see them for the people they really are. And um, that's all from me for today. I'm going to go back tomorrow. And yeah, peace out. Cheers, guys. Oh.